Chapter 2 Medieval India Society Resource and the Trade. The description given is taken from Babur Nama, the memory of the Mughal Empire Babur. Babur speaks about the diversity and resources of India. It is this diversity and prosperity that attracted the foreign travelers to India during the medieval period. Their travels help us to compare the socio-economic conditions of that period. Babur Nama says that Hindustan is a wonderful land compared to other countries it is entirely different. The mountains, rivers, forest and desert here are unique. The animals, plants, people, languages, rain and wind are all diverse. What is Babur Nama? Babur Nama is the personal journal of Empire Babur. Founder of the Mughal dynasty, it records the events of his remarkable life from the age of 12. Unitil his death in 1530. His grandson Akbar had the memories translated to Persian from their original Turkish. So his grandfather's achievements might be more widely known. Written and illustrated around 1590, it contains 141 paintings by many different artists. Agriculture and Artisanship Given here is an extract from Travelu of Alberoni, a traveler who reached India from Central Asia. Agriculture, cattle rearing, trade of goods, etc. are the occupation and taxes mentioned in this description. Agriculture was the chief occupation of the people of medieval India. Cotton, cereals, pulses, indigo, sugar cane, etc. were the major crops. In this period, there was plenty of cultivatable land in India that was kept uncultivated. Those who have first cultivated in such land were granted its ownership right. The hardworking farmers tried to win the ownership of such lands in this way. Alberoni says that for farming, cereals and grazing cattle, land revenue and grazing tax were to be paid to the rules. rulers. Similarly, tax was to be paid on income from trade. Once of the income was to be spent for protection of the country. Who was Alberoni? Alberoni around C 972 to eight was an Persian scholar from the Kriswa region and spent a large part of his life in Ghazni in modern day Afghanistan, capital of Ghaznavid dynasty. He was the first prominent Muslim Indologist in 1070. He traveled to the Indian subcontinent. He traveled extensively in various parts of the country, studied the language, religion, and philosophy of Hindus and wrote the classic account of the country and its people in Arabic entitled Tariq ul -Hind. He is considered the founder of endology. 
the steps taken by the rulers for the progress of agriculture first one arranged irrigation facilities second supplied seeds third granted tax relaxation in the medieval period the officers were given land as wages this system was known as ikta during the sultanate period and jagirdari during the mughal period in addition to agriculture many occupations for making agricultural tools assisted in villages such as metal work what is ikta system under ikta system the land of empire was divided into several large and small tracts called ikta and assigned these iktas to his soldiers officers and nobles there were two kinds of iktas large iktas and small iktas the small ikta holders held to appropriate all income obtained from the cultivators they were bound to present themselves with horses and arms whenever called upon by the central government these small iktas holders were called kuts and mugadams amir kusru for the first time referred to kuts as zamindars what is persian wheel the persian wheel is the mechanical water lifting device operated usually by draught animals like bullocks buffaloes or camels it is used to lifting water from water sources typically open wells there is evidence to argue that this system of lifting water from open wells was probably invented in india half past with it use also in iran the then persia and perhaps its discovery there it came to be called the persian wheel weaving and other handicrafts were the major occupations in towns the cotton indigo and silk produced by rural flocks enriched the textile industry the india weavers produced garments of different colors and quality the garments made of silk cotton and wool were important among them new tools like spinning wheel and looms were used for weaving indigo and color mixture were used for dyeing the textile indian textile worn world acclaim what is spinning wheel spinning wheel early mission for turning fiber into thread or yarn which was then worn into cloth on the on a loom the spinning wheel was probably invented in india though its origin or obscure it reached europe was in in the middle east in the european middle age ages it replaced the early method of hand spinning towns and trade have you read 
The Description About Vijayanagara by Niccolo Conti, the Italian traveler who visited India. Niccolo Conti says the Vijayanagara, the great town Vijayanagara, is situated near steep mountain ranges. There are attractive gardens and groves in this town. The markets and this prosperous town are full of costly goods. Trade The agricultural progress created favorable conditions for the prosperity of trade and commerce. Indian spices, textiles, leather, gems, sandal, metals, peril, ivory, etc. were in great demand in foreign countries. These commodities attracted trade to traders to India. Several traders from different parts of the world reached India in the medieval period. The foreigners who engaged in trade with India, Chinese, Arabs, Portuguese, Dutch, English, and finally French. Haven't you listened to the description of India, Indian towns by Ibn Badwa, the Moroccan traveler who visited during the Sultanate period? and Rafael Fitch, the English traveler who visited during the Mughal period. Ibn Batwa says, The town in India are highly populous and wealthy. The streets of city were flooded with diverse goods. Delhi and Daulatbad are colorful cities. Rafael Fitch says that Agra, Fatpur, Sikri and Ahmedabad are bigger than London, the biggest city in the world. Delhi is a big and wealthy city. What information can you gather from them about the Indian towns of that period? Discuss Towns Towns developed around the production centers and markets. Dekka, Python, Kanjipuram, Urayur, Madurai, etc. were the towns that developed this way. Artisans, trades, officers, servants, slaves, and so on constituted the urban population. Find out the major trade centers of medieval India from the given map. Discuss the common geographical features that helped the progress of South India trade centers. The map show as the major trade centers in medieval India. Bernier Workshops Big rooms where Karhana's functions are found in many places. Embroideries working under a supervisor are founded, found in one room. Goldsmiths in another. Dyers and cobblers work in room. Different room. Given above the description by Bernier, the French traveler, about the workshops and the occupational group. Karhanas were the senders that produced and supplied goods for the place of Mughal and nobles. Which occupational group could be found in Karhana? Social life. Jean Baptiste Travener says that 
the lifestyle dressing and food habits are extensively varied across india extravagantly colorful dressed people and those sparsely clad were also founded here traveler the french traveler who visited india during the mughal period who gave list of description about the social life in india social and economic inequalities exist among the people back then let us see what they were Social status was determined on basis of caste, occupation and wealth. Kings, lords, priests, officers, etc. enjoyed higher social status. Those who engaged in agriculture and handicrafts belonged to lower social strata. Each caste had its own custom and rituals evil customs like sati and child marriage prevalent federal pyramid of power kings king noble kings piston firstly king sent land to nobles land sent to land peep to kings kings sent land and protection then pins uh, pistons sent food and services to kings kings uh, sent protection and military service finally nobles gives to king money and kings india the abode of knowledge Amir Khusru says that we the Indians can speak any language but it is difficult for other to master our language Indians do not go abroad in search of knowledge it is the people from other countries who come to India chess the panchatantra stories and mathematics are the contributions of india to the world summary the travelers of the foreign foreigners provide information about for trade during the medieval period several foreigners came to india for trade the rulers facilitated this the progress of agriculture and trade handicrafts and trade centers developed during the medieval period karhanas were the center that produced and supplied goods for the palaces of mughal kings and nobles social and economic inequalities existed during the medieval period India attained economic progress along with the advancement in the learning thank you